So I have been called an adult several points throughout my life. 1,515 days ago, I legally became an adult. 1,469 days ago, I graduated from high school. 1,395 days ago, I moved into college. 507 days ago, I moved to a different country by myself. 419 days ago, I had my first legal drink. And now, six days ago, I moved to Chicago to start my first job. All of these points are points in my life where I have been called an adult. But what makes them different from each other? And I thought it would be interesting to look back at my past week and see some of the things that I have done that have now qualified me as an adult compared to the other times that I've been called an adult in the past. So first, I deep cleaned my apartment. I went shopping in the city to get groceries with this fancy escalator for my shopping cart, which I will say that I got a little too excited about, maybe too excited to be called a true adult. You're going. Oh, here it comes, here it comes. Here it comes. <laughs> I painted with my roommate. Thanks for covering the whole canvas. Oh my gosh. Whole... <laughs> oh my. So we're going to the whole <gasps> canvas and now just spread it out but go in the same direction. Don't like... There's no precise way to do it. You just got to go it. <laughs> I feel like my wrist is so awkward. <laughs> If you want, you can go all the way to the edges, or we can keep it like that, and it looks more so like a gotta, weathered look. You gotta. I think that's a you decision, not me. <laughs> and then make sure you see how you're making the white. Oh so yeah. Sure you don't do that. And I cooked a meal without burning my apartment down. So obviously all of those things are adult-like activities, or as my generation would call them, adulting. But they aren't really all that different from other points in my life where I was given responsibility for myself and had to make sure that I would stay alive. So I don't necessarily know why now is any different from those other times. I don't know if I can actually be called an adult. But what I do know is that this moment is the culmination of all of the moments before it. And I believe in both being and becoming. So I can both be an adult and still be becoming an adult. Because there have been so many instances in my life where I have been called an adult for different reasons, whether it's legal, whether it's societal norms, or because of the responsibility that I've taken over myself, I don't know if that's the best term that I should be using to form my identity around. I think that as cliche as it is, perhaps the best term I can use is my name. I am Nathan. Right now I am both being Nathan and becoming Nathan. All of the moments in my life have led up to this, led to me being here right now talking to you, but also there will be ones in the future that help inform and change and grow me to be closer to who I am at my core and who I want to be. So, yeah, I don't know if I'm an adult, but I know very strongly that I am Nathan. And I just moved to Chicago to take my first job, one that I'm really excited about taking. And perhaps that's all I need to know. Hi friends and family, thanks for watching this video. I may be a little awkward on the camera, but this is my first video, so I'm hoping that I can get a little better at talking to the camera. 
Um, some of you may remember that when I was in Wales for that six month period that I was writing a blog. I'll leave a description in the video and for those of you that don't know where the description is, I'll put it up on the screen somewhere um, in case you want to go back and look at it. But what I really liked about being able to blog was that I really took ownership over the experiences that I was having and the narrative that I was forming around them. And I really enjoyed going back and reading some of the ways that I was processing my time in Wales. And so I'm hoping that these videos can be like that as well. And also, you know, show my thought process about how I'm becoming a young professional and what I'm doing with my life. I know that my life isn't perfect and I'm not perfect either. And that's actually why I titled my blog the way I did, you know, Perry Tales, because they're not fairy tales. They don't always have happy endings or these big lessons. But like I said before, I believe that this moment is the culmination of all the moments before it. So in that way, they are sort of special and unique and valuable. So yeah, thanks for watching. These are my Perry Tales and I hope you are both being and becoming yourself. Sports arena. <laughs> Thank you.
the cube head. Where's the milk? And a back reservoir. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, Thank you for that. I have one. <laughs>